following video describes how Tel users may vote on the foundational proposal for the next generation of the Telcoin platform and governance system, Telcoin Governance Improvement Proposal 1, or TGIP1. This proposal seeks for the Telcoin community to democratically approve, adopt, and cryptographically ratify the Telcoin Association Constitution and the systems further described and defined in the Telcoin Association documentation. Voting will take place on Snapshot, which supports connecting a number of wallets, including MetaMask and Ledger. Tel holders can also vote through their Telcoin app wallet by delegating to an external address. However, if you are holding Tel on an exchange, you must withdraw your tokens to a self-custodied wallet in order to vote. Your vote will be weighted based on the amount of Tel in your connected wallet. To connect your Telcoin app wallet to Snapshot, you must first delegate it to an external Polygon address. We recommend using either a new or existing address on MetaMask, which is what we'll do for this tutorial. Copy the address, we've named ours Telcoin app delegation, and note the last four characters. This one ends in F65B. Now open the Telcoin app. On this account, we have 7,000 Tel, which will later be reflected as our voting power. Note that staked tell and any unclaimed rewards will also be reflected in the voting power total. Tap on the Profile tab and tap Vote with Tell at the top. Tap Select Polygon Address and then Add Polygon Address. Type in a nickname for your address. We'll simply paste in the MetaMask address here, but there is also an option to scan the wallet address via QR code. Tap Done and Add Address. Enter your PIN to confirm the delegation. Great! The voting power from your Telcoin app wallet has been delegated to the proper address. For this step, we recommend switching to Google Chrome on desktop with MetaMask as a browser extension. Navigate to the appropriate Telcoin Governance Snapshot URL, which will be unique for each vote. Click the Join button and select MetaMask from the Wallet Options. When MetaMask opens, choose the wallet address you want to connect. There's the one that we delegated to, so we'll select that. Click Next and then Connect. Now click Join again to refresh the Snapshot dashboard. Great, we're in. And on the top right, we can see that it's the wallet ending in F65B. Now that a proposal has been published, we're ready to vote. Note that your tell balance at the time the vote is created, not your tell balance at the time of joining, is what will be reflected in any proposal votes. Click on the specific proposal you want to vote on from the main page dashboard. Select your decision on the vote details page and click Vote. The confirmation pop-up will display your voting power. For us now, it's the 7000 tell that we delegated from the Telcoin app. Since this all looks correct, we'll type in a reason, if applicable, and click Confirm. Sign again on MetaMask to finalize your vote. Success! We've cast our vote and participated in Telcoin governance. If you're holding Tel on a ledger like we are here, we recommend connecting to Snapshot via MetaMask. Let's look at the Tel balance in this ledger. We have 60,000 Ethereum Tel and about 8,000 Polygon Tel. Snapshot will count the sum of these over 68,000 Tel as our voting power. Once you've connected your ledger wallet to MetaMask, navigate to the Snapshot site. Click the Join button and choose MetaMask from the wallet options. Select your ledger address and click Next and Connect. There we go! We've connected to Snapshot with our ledger wallet. Now that we're in, the voting procedure will be the same as previously described, except that we'll have to sign on our ledger rather than only on MetaMask.
You can also easily connect to Snapshot if you're holding your Tel directly on MetaMask. Here we have a wallet called Account1 with 6,000 Tel in it. Click Join and select MetaMask. Choose the correct address, then click Next and Connect. Click the Join button again to refresh the Snapshot dashboard. And we're in! Once again, now that we've connected our wallet, the voting procedure will be the same as previously described. Happy voting!